So we started our time on parts of speech with prepositions, right? Yeah. right. And you've memorized a bunch of them? Yes. Yeah. Everybody else? Right. Clearly established learning goals provide the foundation for differentiated teaching and learning opportunities. Here we go. Ready? Around, above, across, after, again. I have one word for secondary teachers, visualize. And I start at the end. I think that they need to visualize what they want the students to have learned and then start working your way backwards from there. So what's the other thing that we did last week besides parts of speech? Evan? We made a comic strip. We created comic strips. And what we're going to do today is combine the two. The leading uh, research on differentiation talks about the three different areas that um, differentiation should affect. Uh, content, process, and product. And by content, um, teachers can differentiate what the kids are learning. Now, obviously, in a course or a class, there is a curriculum that needs to be addressed. But sometimes we have options so that, that not every kid would have to study every subtopic in a unit, but rather certain kids could go to different topics and then come together and share what they've learned. So the content can be differentiated. Uh, secondly is the idea of the learning process. Turkey Girl promised that she would return before sunset. Add another note to your open mind. Not every student is going to take in information exactly the same way, so teachers could provide different avenues to get into the material. There's all kinds of activities to uh, differentiate uh, the, the learning process. And then thirdly, the idea of differentiating the product. Typically in the secondary classroom, products look the same. It's open up the book, read the chapter, answer the questions, turn them into the teacher. But there are a number of other products that kids could create to reveal their understanding back to the teacher.